it's Jacqueline and welcome to Timeless Beauties. This video is going to be about all my MAC favorites that I use on uh, mature skin, on myself and on my clients and uh, I thought I would go through some of my favorites for you so you can check them out and uh, see how you like them too. I think uh, MAC products are really good products to use. I know um, there's a lot of controversy over the fact that uh, they have, um, they're not cruelty free but um, I like to use it uh, because I like the way it applies. Um, I have used a lot of different products on my clients and I uh, still enjoy the MAC and I think MAC is a little bit of um, sometimes you don't hear a lot about it within the mature community and uh, so anyway I just thought I'd go through these um, items with you and uh, give you my recommendations so I hope you like it. Okay, so first of all, what I thought I'd do is go through um, talking about the foundation. So I like to use uh, the MAC Face and Body for a lot of my clients because it is a really lightweight foundation and uh, it goes on a very skin-like. And I know a lot of uh, the ladies that I see, they don't like a heavy coverage. So I'm not sure about yourself, but um, I like it's quite light so with myself I usually mix it with uh, one of the other foundations um, I could use I sometimes mix it with the MAC mineralized moisture foundation so I'll mix the two together and it gives it a little bit more coverage but it still gives it that nice flawless finish that the MAC face and body does and it um, MAC face and body uh, has a really good long wear to it and it gives just a nice little um, satiny sheen to the skin too. It looks really pretty. And I also sometimes mix the MAC Face and Body with the um, Studio Fix, which really will give it a, a more of a heavier uh, coverage. So I do use a lot of this on my clients and the Moisture Mineral or the MAC Mineralize because usually with mature skin, it's uh, often dry, and so it does give it a nice um, texture and some moisture to the skin. So I do recommend MAC Face and Body and the uh, MAC Mineral Eye. So give it a try and see how you like it. Also, um, I know that we all are testing out different highlighting uh, products. And you know, I still go back to the uh, MAC Strobe Cream. I find it uh, a very um, lightweight and very natural looking. Um, I like to use the cream uh, highlighter as opposed to the powder sometimes because I find it it's just more natural and um, when I apply it, I just apply it to the top of the cheekbone here. As you, I'm just going to apply it for a little bit here for you. Top of the nose and um, sometimes just at the t uh, bow of the lip here. So when I do blend it in, it's very, very natural looking and it just gives your face um, a nice glow. So um, I do recommend this, it's a great product and um, again I don't see it used much, I haven't seen it used much lately so um, I think it's a good staple to have in your um, makeup bag. It's uh, lightweight and easy to use. Um, another product, obviously you've heard a lot about this and I, I use it quite a bit, is the MAC Fix Plus. I just love this product, I can't live without it, it's definitely one of my uh, staples in everything, every every type of makeup I do. Because after I do powder, I will spray the face, spritz the face with it, and it just settles all the makeup so it looks very, very natural. And um, that's my goal when I'm doing makeup. Um, I like to enhance the beauty of everybody that I'm putting makeup on, and um, I like to have it look as natural as possible. So, especially when we're doing the face makeup. So I love the Fix Plus and um, also the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. I do use a setting powder and I found a couple that I really, really like um, that I'm using now. I love the Hourglass uh, Translucent Powder and the Charlotte Tilbury. But I also love this one too and sometimes I'll use this. Uh, it does have, uh, um, this is a um, natural uh, medium plus, it's a natural finish. And so I'll just uh, powder over my face at the end of my makeup, especially if I'm going to put um, a powder blush on over top because I do double blush. And uh, I find that when I do that, it just goes on very um, smoothly without any patchiness. So Mineralize is another uh, great option. I'm going to list all these products down below for you so you know exactly which products that I am showing you. 
And also, I do love the MAC uh, mineralized blushes. They're just beautiful. And I have a couple that are very, very popular, and I've heard uh, a few ladies say they really love them too. Um, Natalie, the beauty diva, she loves this one. I remember her telling, telling us that. And uh, I actually picked it up on her recommendation because I didn't have um, this color in my makeup kit. And this is Warm Soul, and it's the mineralized blush, and uh, very, very pretty. Just adds to that kind of um, peachy, it's like, almost like a sun-kissed uh, blush to your face. It's really, really beautiful. And another one that I love, uh, I use a lot of myself because I have such a, a cool undertone. Um, I use a lot of pinks and roses. And this one is the, uh, it's called Gentle, another mineralized blush. <laughs> And um, it's a really pretty pink color that would match the, I match it up to my lipstick because uh, I do wear a lot of pink. So I, I pretty well use this one quite a bit. And then um, when I want to get that more bronzy look, like I had mentioned, I'll use the Warm Soul. And that's just a little bit warmer. It's really pretty too. Um, okay. And another couple things I wanted to show you were the MAC Prep and Prime products. I really like the uh, MAC 24-hour uh, extended eye base. I do have a bit of an oily eye, so I was always finding it hard to find a good eye base to help my um, powder stay on my eyes. I really love this eye base because it does work, and uh, even with um, even with the um, uh, <laughs> oh, I lost my words. <laughs> even with the um, oily eyelids. Sorry. <laughs> That's just my age. I am over 60, so. <laughs> anyway, um, so I love this one. It's a great product, and it does help uh, your eye uh, shadow stay on for a long time. Another MAC uh, Prep and Prime is the, um, the Lip Prep and Prime, and I do use this on my clients. I'll put this on their lips. Uh, it smooths out the lines around the lips, and it uh, helps um, with holding the lipstick on too. So it's a really good, uh, nice product to smooth out those lines if you have those lines around the lips. Um, okay, uh, next product I wanted to mention was this concealer palette, which I really, really get a lot of use out of. And it's this MAC concealer palette right here. They have them in, um, this is the lightest shade, and then there's a medium and a darker. So there's three different uh, shades, and this is the lightest one that I get. I use this quite a bit. Um, I use the pink down here for um, concealing the brown spots that I have. And the yellow is really good in here for the um, capillaries, the red capillaries. And then we have the different um, concealer colors. So they have the NW and the N, uh, NW and NC. NW is on this side, NC is on this side. This is a really good highlighter up here, I find, for just right under the brow. So it's a great little uh, compact to take to have and um, I really enjoy the concealer it's, it's a bit of a moisturizing concealer and uh, I find that I don't have any problem with it creasing I do powder it but I don't have any problem with it creasing so I really love this and um, next I'm gonna go into the powders that I use for um, my clients eyebrows so Mac has great shadows and I find Again, I don't see a lot of people talking about them, but I find that the uh, pigment on them is great. They don't have any fallout, and uh, the wear is really good too. I do pick a few out that I like to put uh, in these little palettes here. I get the four, four quad, because they're easy to carry around if I'm traveling or if I'm working on a, a client. And I put the different colors in here that would mimic um, anybody's eyebrow colors. So I have four colors in here, and this is more of a taupe, and then we go into the browns and then have a little bit more of a ready brown if you have that tone in your in your eyebrows. Try to stick to the color, match it up to the hair. Uh, the taupe one here is, is very, very popular. Um, it uh, can be used on a lot of brows, so I really like that one. Again, I will list them in the uh, description box below and let you know what they are and uh, what color brows best suited for those. Another one I have... Um, is uh, because I do get a lot of ladies who have gray hair and uh, so even these ones here like this is kind of a, a muted gray called copper plate I believe and uh, I think this one is Omega which is another really light neutral um, color 
that you can use in the brow. And then we go into the darker gray. So sometimes the brows are more gray and um, I'll add some of these gray shadows in too. So I'll list those down below too, but they make great uh, brow, brow powders also. And then um, a favorite base that I use for my eyes is this one here, another quad that I put together. This is a very light shadow that I use just to cover the whole wash of the lid. Um, I sometimes will mix these two together. This has more of a skin tone to it. And then um, these are my crease shades that I use. So I think this is soft brown and I can't remember this one, but it's a really good um, crease shade to use too. So when I put it down below, I'll list the crease shades. Uh, I will indicate what they are for you. And then uh, this is just the whole uh, eyelid shades that I use. I'll list that for you too. So I love these palettes and I love the shadows. I still, like all the palettes that I buy, I still will go back to these and um, I still really enjoy the MAC shadows. Okay, so then um, another favorite of mine is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I typically use this for my bottom lashes and uh, because it doesn't rub off, it doesn't smear, they're waterproof, it's uh, more of a waterproof uh, finish to it. So I don't have to worry about it uh, rubbing off. And I also will just add a little bit to the ends of my lashes when I'm done uh, putting my other mascara on. So another product that I, I typically can't live without this one too. I haven't found anything else that I liked as much as this. And uh, let's talk about lipsticks. So a couple of my favorites. I just want to show you right now the one that I have on today. It's actually a new edition and um, I have to put my glasses on to see if I can see that what it says on the bottom. Um, it is called Goodbye Kiss and it's an amplified cream and um, it's a new edition just came out and this is what I have on today and I like to wear more of the pinky type lipsticks uh, during the summer and I find this one really pretty because it's not too bright and um, and then it also gives me some color. I'm not, um, I don't wear a lot of neutral per se lipsticks because I need the color in my face, but um, I do uh, know a lot of ladies that like the neutral lipsticks and I have some suggestions, uh, but I typically stick to color. Uh, in the winter I'll wear red, I'll wear the berry colors, but I do like to wear color. Another um, I really product I really like is the MAC, oh I gotta get my glasses again. The MAC, um, this is the lip gloss I believe. Anyway, this is called, uh, this is a lip gloss or lip gloss, I can't see, but I will put it down below. But this is Girl About Town, and um, this is a really a fuchsia pinky color, but it, it's not too, too uh, heavily pigmented. And I'll just put a little bit on here. Just adds a nice little, and I don't find, I don't find this lipstick too sticky. And I do find that it does, uh, this gloss does last on the lips. So that's, their, their glosses and their lip glosses are really good. I really enjoy that. And also, um, one of the very, very popular lip pencils um, that I've heard mentioned many times is called Soar. And this is a great neutral kind of a pinky color that you would put on that goes with a lot of, I don't know if you can see that, it can go with a lot of the different even the neutrals and the pinks, it's a really good color for that. It's not too dark and it's not too brown, but it's a really good neutral color to add to the lips. And I like to line the lip first and then fill it in a little bit and then I'll put my lipstick on, that way the lipstick will stay on a lot longer. So Soar is a, is a wonderful uh, lip pencil. A couple of the other ones that I will mention that I really enjoy using is, um, if I want to do a red, I will use Cherry and uh, it's a really pretty, cool tone red and it's not really red it's more of a pinky red and then this one is quite bright uh, this is called shock value so if I want to get really pinky I'll uh, put this on and it's very very smooth it's really really pretty color and then this one I use pretty well in the winter months fall and winter it's called nightingale and it's more of a plum plum color and it's this last one here that's quite plummy. It's really pretty. I love their lip pencils and how they go on and how they stay. So great lip pencils. And last but not least, I'm just going to mention a few of the other lipsticks that I think you might like. 
Um, so we do have, oh dear, I have to put my glasses on. I can't read these, so sorry about the glare. That's why I don't wear my glasses when I'm filming because there's so much glare with my lights. But um, it's difficult because I do wear glasses all the time. So this one is called Chatterbox. It's kind of a pinky, um, a, it's really pretty. It's a, a pinky coral and um, it's a really pretty summer color. So it's called Chatterbox. And I have a few more that are more neutral. This one is called Plumful, and again, it's more of a plummy color. I don't know if I'm swatching these so you can see them, but it's really pretty plum color right there. And um, let's get a little more neutral. And we're looking at uh, Hot Gossip. It's, it's a cream sheen, and I'm just going to put it right here so you can see. It's a very, very pretty neutral pink that would go with a lot of colors and makeup. And then we have this one is called um, Fast Play. It's an amplified and it's definitely got a little bit more of a brown undertone to it. But it's, um, I know a lot of uh, ladies I've seen use this color and this is a really pretty color, very neutral brownie pink and uh, it would look great with the uh, sore lip pencil and that's called Fast Play. And then just a couple more, I have Faux, which is a very neutral, pretty light. Maybe I'll put it right here. Again, it's more of a pinky, um, pinky brownie. It's really, really pretty for a neutral lip. And um, this one is called Mare. And I'll put it right beside Faux. It's got a little more intensity, as you can see. I think you can see it. It's this one right here. And that's called Mare. And then another pretty one is called Syrup. And um, lots of times I'll use these on the younger girls that I get in my studio too. Um, they're very popular for brides. And uh, these neutral colors, because they're so soft. And uh, this one, may, uh, Syrup, um, I don't know. I think I put it on the wrong way here to show you. Um, this one here has a lot of, uh, uh, it's really moist and it has a really pretty pinky brownie sheen to it so I really like that one it's more pink I think than it would be brown so it's really really pretty and that's called syrup so there gives you some sample of some MAC products that I feel um, are definitely worth investing in and um, I hope you got some ideas if you have any suggestions or comments about any of the MAC products you use please put it down below in the comment section I'd love to hear from you and um, if you have any questions, um, I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. And I'll see you in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.